Hello, and welcome to Columbine United Church's Advent Devotional. Thanks for joining us on Sunday, November 28th, for day one of the devotion. Each um, Sunday, we will be doing a devotion that focuses on our Advent theme, which is, I wonder why. This Advent Sundays at Columbine, we'll be looking at back at the scripture and the stories that we've all become so accustomed to and maybe comfortable with of Advent with a questioning heart, an open mind, inquisitiveness, because there's lots of mystery, there's lots of wonder, um, and yet it's easy to forget um, for it to seem all the same. And so join us as we ask why. This first week, we wonder why the ways of God are mysterious together. And our sermon scripture is Mark 13. Mark 13 has three parts um, as we look at verses 24 through 37. So I'll read the three parts. And then in each day of our Advent devotion, I will be reading a different reflection from somebody in the congregation from somebody who's in leadership, someone on staff, or a pastor. And so I am excited to get to be the narrator of their words. Here's today's scripture, Mark 13, 24. In those days, after the suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers in heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. He will send out the angels and gather the chosen ones from the four winds and from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. The second part is a lesson of the fig tree. From the fig tree, it learns its lesson. As soon as the branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see that things are taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And here's the last section on the necessity of watchfulness. But about the day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the sun, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves his home and puts servants in charge, each with work, he commands a doorkeeper to be on watch. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or midnight or cock crow or at dawn or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. On this first day of our Advent devotion, I'm reading a devotion by Devin Croft. Here are his words. When I was struggling to master a difficult task, my mentor told me, if this was easy, then anyone could do it. It is human nature to prefer certainty over uncertainty. We prefer order over chaos. Just see how much discomfort we feel when we lose access to the internet or our mobile phone is lost or broken. We have grown so dependent on our current technology that we can feel lost without it. Even those of us who spent five or six decades living fine just without it. If there were no mystery about when, where, or how God wants us to act on our faith, it would require very little effort on our part. Anyone could do it. There would be no challenge to being a faithful Christian. Mark's message can be seen as an ominous warning. Who wants to be the doorkeeper who is asleep when the master returns unannounced? But it can also be seen as a thoughtful reminder to us all. Who wants to be the potential savior who was asleep when your gifts or abilities were needed most by someone else? It won't be easy to keep awake as Mark's message demands. Not everyone can do it, but the reward for doing so will be great for you and those you serve. 
Hey, thanks, Devin. So in this day, why are the ways of God mysterious? In this message of mystery, we also find the invitation to be awake, to be alert, to have open hearts and open minds and open hands ready to show up and to be available to help. Thanks for being with us on this day as we journey towards Christmas together. And um, we hope to see you or hear you or connect with you tomorrow.